Here's a recipe for some nighttime entertainment that's pandemic approved. All you need is one small backyard telescope or even a good pair of binoculars, a dark night outside the city, and a seat in the northern hemisphere, and you can see the newest nova. An amateur astronomer in Japan named Yuji Nakamura spotted the brilliant new light on March 18th. It's shining in the constellation Cassiopeia. The star has been dubbed Nova Cassiopeia 2021, formerly known as V1405 Cass. Astronomers refer to this kind of event as a classical nova, which means it's the result of an explosive relationship between a regular living star and a type of dead star known as a white dwarf. White dwarfs are small in space terms, about the size of Earth. Most stars, even our sun, will eventually die and collapse into extremely dense white dwarfs. Because of their dense mass, white dwarfs have some extreme gravitational pull. So in a binary system, like in this case, as the two stars whirled around each other, the tiny dead star was tugging hydrogen away from its larger neighbor. The gas then heats up in the white dwarf's atmosphere. When it gets hot enough, nuclear fusion is triggered and the white dwarf spits out all the unburned stolen gas into space. It must be quite the relief. And unlike a type 1 supernova in which the white dwarf explodes, both stars in our story will survive to continue their strange whirly dance. Scientists aren't 100% sure how far from Earth this nova is, but they think it may belong to a binary system about 5,500 light years away. Now, a classical nova is the most common of stellar explosions, but that doesn't mean it's not a super cool sight to see, and it won't be visible for long. So to find it, look at Cassiopeia, and then search for a bright star called Calf at the bottom of the W-shaped constellation. Follow its direction away from Cassiopeia to find the nova. We'll also post its coordinates in the description below. For Space TV News, I'm Cambry Caldwell.